is up YouTube Calvin from my 95 muscle coming at you today this time with a 1961 GMC pickup definitely yellow and it definitely has some Chevy badging on it so for all intents and purposes it's it is technically a GMC but this one does have uh, like a Chevy grill, Chevy headlights. It's got an OBS Chevy or GM uh, bed on it, which is pretty cool. Some people love that, some people hate it. You got remote fuel filler in the bed, which is cool because this is where the fuel filler would normally be, back here behind the seat in the cab. But they filled that in French in and antenna mount, so definitely cool. We got some newer style leather seats in there. Uh, looks like a tilt steering column out of a Camaro. And custom uh, aftermarket shifter. That's pretty cool. It's got like a little the detent so you push this button, pull it into gear. We got all aftermarket gauges. They actually did something pretty cool I haven't seen done on too many things. They mounted all the light switches and everything up under here. So the dash is actually quite clean. There's not a bunch of buttons everywhere. Of course, you got a hula girl. What up, girl? Um, so there's not a whole bunch of stuff out here on the outside that you don't need access to that you can't just reach under here and, and hit. So there's your wipers. And then your headlight switch. Your dimmers down there. Um, trying to see what else we got here uh, I'm sure there's another thing or two but um, there's probably a switch to turn that on too but what I like the most about this truck it is a small block truck um, but it's not hard to start like ever because some someone went ahead and took all of the throttle body stuff Probably off of that Camaro that they got the column from. Um, and they have a full throttle body setup going on on top of the intake. So fuel injected, you know, it doesn't doesn't have to, you don't have to warm it up before you drive it. You don't have to uh, pump the gas or anything to get it fired up. Big old clutch fan. There is a good little leak coming from the header over here so disregard that we'll probably get a, a header gasket on there we'll see um, but yeah nice aluminum radiator pretty clean engine bay again it's a really solid truck and it is a lot of yellow Take it for a spin. Nice little, looks like a low car throttle, throttle pedal. something clanging around there's actually inside here I think there was some uh, some lug nuts so aside from that little exhaust leak being a little irritating um, pretty sweet truck it runs and drives really awesome looks like it might have been, might have some heat stuff going on, but I had not messed with that. We'll have to dig into that a little bit more. The interior of the truck is all painted silver. Well, 
the roof part is painted silver. Everything else is yellow, so it's kind of cool. Silver and yellow. And... All the gauges work. So that's cool. Responsive. I mean, it, it doesn't lack in the response. Pretty cool. So, but that's going to pretty much wrap up our little walk around test drive of this guy. Let me do one more little walk around so you can check it out. Again, I think it's a pretty solid truck, and if I'm not mistaken, this one's priced in the low 20s. I think typically one with decent paint like this and a decent small block or fuel injection, you would typically be looking at a higher price tag than that. So someone needs to come scoop this one up. My lights are on. So. I'm going to let that one wrap up this video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys.